Hello, we're back. Is our audio good? Hello, everyone. Can you hear us? Okay, so now we're demonstrating packaging a thing so that it can be installed. And of this, I'm typing, and Marine is telling me what to type. So, yes, <laughs> I will take the lead. Let's get to it. So, thank you, Richard. Yeah. So, packaging. Packaging basically means um, trying to organize your project in such a way that other people can quickly install it. So you're doing packaging well when somebody comes to you and says, well, how do I use your code in my project? You can tell them, oh, you just pip install it. Or you just have one line. The, the shorter your installation instructions are, um, the better your packaging is. So, and, That's a good uh, point, Python, yeah. <laughs> Python, uh, Python like... presents uh, a few options of us, um, to us. We'll, we'll explore a few of them. So, yeah. so what if you just have a single a single file, for example, with, with some functions in it, uh, Richard, how would you share that? Or do we have so, any yeah. issues already? A single file. Um, I guess if it's that small, I might just leave it as it is and say, if you need it, then like whatever, clone the Git repository. I have several projects like this, which are so small, I haven't bothered trying to package them and like it's cloned and yeah. sort of run manually. So, so do I. If it's just a few functions in a file, you just say, well, installation is you take this file, you put it in your project folder, and you import. Yeah. And we, we call it a module um, when it's just a single file. But what if it's um, multiple files? So if, if it's a single file, you can just import and then the name of the file, as we have seen. Mm -hmm. But say you have like 20 files. Um, yeah, if your installation instructions as well, you have to do 20 import statements in order to use them. That's going to be very annoying very quickly. Yeah. Um, so maybe we can uh, create a few files or, uh, okay. or Richard, you can create a few. Yeah. So are you seeing my screen through the Jitsi? Um, let's see. I can. I'd recommend uh, opening that so you yes, can I'm, see. I'm going to do that. Okay, so are we doing, we're starting with the demo and I'm adding these files here. Actually, let's back up. So I'm starting and I'm making a brand new uh, package here. So here I am, uh, I'll change to my Git directory. What will we call this thing we're making? Let's, um, let's call it a packaging project. So, so our, our module is going to be called a calculator, but we're, we're going to name this folder something uh, else. Mm. But, uh, you will see why later. OK. So, so say we have now, uh, let's quickly create three files. So say we have uh, add and subtract. And yep. uh, so I will make these. Can just basically copy paste them. Yeah, so just, these are simple things that we just have something to work with. right? Say so. Our, our project now has uh, three files. Each file contains some code. So if I now would want to reuse these files in another project or give them to somebody else, this person will have to do three import statements: import uh, subtracting, adding, import uh, integrating. Um, so if you want to now make it like a single import statement, for example, if, well, if you import NumPy, you don't have to import everything. You can just import NumPy, and it works. Um, this is what Python calls a package. So each file, Python calls a module. Uh, and when we want to build them all together as one thing, we call it a package. Mm -hmm. And the way we do that is we just drop them into a new folder. So you can, okay. if you want to bundle this up, you can just well, create a folder with, with a name. And the name of the folder will be the name of our package. It's, it's going to be what we'll, we yeah. will be importing. So what should it be called? So we do a um, calculator. Did I spell that right? Yeah. OK. So yes, That's... now we have a calculator folder. OK. We can just dump uh, all the, the, the Python files in there. OK, so I moved them into the calculator folder. Yeah. So I'm running a lot of Linux commands here. You don't need mm -hmm. to worry about that. We're saying 
what we're doing and arranging stuff. Mm. Could yeah. also do this in Windows. Just create folder, drop the files in there. Yeah. Okay. So we're we're almost done. Um, but now it's just three Python files in the folder. There's one thing we need to do to actually make it a Python package, and that is to create one special magic file inside our folder, inside our calculator folder. And this is called underscore underscore init underscore underscore. Yeah. So this these underscores indicate this is like super magic special file. Yeah, it's basically um, just the Python convention. Yes, you can you can actually leave it empty. So you've now already pasted uh, stuff in there, which is good. Yeah. Um, but just to uh, to note, I mean, just the presence of the file makes it a Python a Python package. Yeah. Yeah. Regardless. Like, of maybe I would say having the init file tells Python that a directory is importable and yeah. can be considered like a package, something like exactly. that. Yeah. Okay. Um, but, but now let's, let's go to the file because you pasted something in there. Let's, um, yeah. let's, let's show the people what, what you've pasted. Uh, the init. Yeah, but yeah. The, like, this code, there are, wait, what, so this, what this you... init is this magic file that indicates this is a package, but the init is also the entry point to the package. Mm -hmm. So if we, um, well, without the init, you, you could import calculator, but then if you want to actually use our files, you would actually have to, have to still manually import them. You have to say, okay, from, uh, well, the, the, the functions would be named calculating, uh, calculator.adding.add, calculator.subtracting.subtract, which can be mm -hmm. a, a little bit annoying. Um, so one of the cool things you could do in the init is uh is is add import instructions right in your init file so the init file will be run whenever you import your package the init file will be run so these these import commands will will run so if i run import calculator like you see here then this gives us or it gives us calculate.add because the calculator module when you import calculator, it gives you this init file. And this yeah. init file has imported add, subtract, and integral from these submodules. Yes. Okay. Without them, you would have to do calculator.adding.add. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. You also put a version string in there. That's also very useful. So now you would have a, a calculator dot underscore underscore. Um, version as well. So, and any variables and any functions that you declare inside this init function, that there will also be part of the package. Mm -hmm. Okay. Should we go? Okay. On? But, so, uh, so now we can import a calculator. So we try. Somebody quickly try that. So, if you, if you just open up a Python, can we now import calculator? Okay. So if we do quick, it actually works. So now uh, we have. It. Yeah, calculator. So this shows yeah. us that the calculator module itself is located at calculator init.py. Yes. See, init is our entry point here. Yeah. Okay, and all our functions should be in there, right? Well, we have yeah. adding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we don't need to manually import now calculator.adding, right? Yeah. Our init file should have taken care of that and should all be there. So we have add yep. directly. Yay. Okay. Okay. Um, so now it's already better, right? So now if you want to tell somebody else, okay, how do I use a code? Well, you here, here is this uh, mm -hmm. this folder, and um, you put this folder of files. You put that into your project, um, and as long as that folder is there, you can import it. Um, mm -hmm. We can go. We can, we, can, we can we can go even further, of course, and we can say well. Um, you can just pip install it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do next. Yeah. Try to get it pip installable. Let's see. Should I maybe I should say down? yeah. May maybe I should say well the so so for now the ins uh, the installation instructions are put you put this folder inside your code your own code folder your own project you're working with. Mm -hmm. um, but this is of course not very nice. So if you if you have multiple projects that reuse the same code, you now have to basically copy paste this same folder in all your uh all, all the locations where you want to use it 
Um, of course, Python has a central location. So if you if you if you put this folder in Python's central location, which Python called site packages, then it will be available for any time. Right? This is where your NumPy lives. This is where your Matplotlib lives. Yeah. Uh, your Jupyter lives. Um, so let's see if we can make it um, easier to 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 install the package. So when when we say now installing the package, basically it means you take this folder and you copy it to your site packages. And and Python can do it for us and and, and provides mechanisms to do this. Yeah. Um, and and the entry point to that is is another type of special file um, which we call setup.py. This is the mechanism Python uses to make a, a package installable. So you can just tell the package, okay, install, install yourself into the central location that Python has so we can use it everywhere. Okay, so is this what I'm doing now? Yeah. So I'm making a setup.py with yeah. these contents. And let's see. Let's hope the paste works. Yes, it worked. Yeah. So what are the Maybe main you can show us a little bit, uh... features of this? So, so setup tools is somehow the common thing that's used. Yeah, mm. it, it provides the, the setup function that we call below. Yeah. It's trying to open a readme file and we'll use that as the description of the package. I guess we'll need to add that readme for it to work. Oh yeah, that, that's a nice shortcut that we usually do. So since your project, probably if you put it on GitHub and stuff, will have a readme file, you can use that as the long description of the package. Why not? So just yeah, okay. Open the file. Okay, so we should also remember to make a readme file. So this, yeah. this actually works. And this name is the name you use to install it via pip, which has to be unique. So that's why it says put your own name in there, the author. Yeah, so put your own name in there. It's not a general recommendation. Um, you can just name it like however you want to name it. Um, but since the, 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 the name calculator is probably already taken <laughs> by Pi, so yeah. later on, so we will add something unique to it just so we don't clash with existing packages. But yeah. you, can, you can name it everything you want. Yeah. I'm leaving off the author email. No which way. even though it says it's needed in practice, I've noticed it's not. Okay, there's a short description, a small example package. I'll leave that. Yeah. Here we see the long description being added in. It's being told that the long description is marked down. URL, well. Yeah, we, we don't have a website yet, but if you have one, you could put it there. Yeah. Packages, okay. That so, is a special one. Hmm. Yeah. So there could be in, in inside your folder, we, we could have bundle, we could bundle multiple packages together and say, so one of the, the bigger ones, if, I think if you have like a SciPy or something like the bigger ones, they, these are projects that actually consist of multiple packages. Um, mm -hmm. And so basically what the setup call needs, well, okay, what's the list of packages that you want bundled into one thing? So if you, if you do install on this, what should I install? Um, and you can usually leave it like this um, because setup tools provides this convenience function, find packages that will just look at what's there inside this folder, what packages are there. Okay. That's the packages you want. And I think 99% of the cases, that's exactly right. You want yeah. the packages that, that are inside your folder. And that's okay. it. Sounds good. So install requires, I guess this is the dependency. So we're saying that SciPy is needed. Yes, I think our integration function depends on SciPy. Yes. Just to illustrate how do you denote package dependencies. So. Yeah. And then we have classifier lists. Yeah. These are like tags or something. You can find some big list of what they mean online and find the ones that are appropriate. It might be like scientific software, this or that, whatever. Exactly. What platforms does it run? Does it run on, on Mac or? Yeah. I think here it says always oh, independent. It will run wherever Python runs. Yeah. And then Python requires. So I guess that's sort of obvious. Yeah. Okay, so this is it. Okay, that I looks will... good. So now let's not forget to make a readme file, otherwise this uh, yes. our, our long description will not work. Maybe you can just say calculator.
Okay, there All we right. go. So now that we have this set up the pi. Okay. So the setup the pi actually operates now as a script. This is now our installation script. The setup the pi. So we we can run it. You can just try it. Python. If you yeah. go to the command line and say Python setup the pi. Um, it's now a thing. It's now a script that you can run. If you don't give it anything, it will just give you some help. I think. Yeah. Okay. No yeah. commands. And I believe install is a command. Install is a command and build and yeah. So it has several things. Should I uh, run install this? is the most useful. So maybe I should activate my Anaconda environment first, so I don't mess up my system. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You do whatever you want. Yes. So I mean, an uh, important thing it it provides us is install. So, yeah. and install does what, what I said before. So install will take the folder of the package and will copy it into mm. your central location where your Python is, stores all its uh, packages, which is called site packages in four. Oh, okay, so it seems like yeah. it worked. If I read using this, my home directory, Anaconda live site packages, so installed, it says finished processing dependencies. So yeah, that worked. Yeah, it will also, I think, well, will it, well it will check the dependencies. It will check if you have all the dependencies. Yeah. And I think this will just give an error if you don't, because this Python script does not have a, well, it's not pip, 